window management in windows we got some tiling windows to go over check out this this is cool here let's just close everything real fast get to a blank desktop using glaze wm now again this is windows and we do have some more traditional elements here that i'll go into but i kind of want to show this really cool setup let's say we need to launch something we can just do our hotkey to launch powershell we'll launch that a couple times we have that we could launch this we can change the way that is by just doing like a, a mod key v and then let's launch internet explorer again and we can tile it a different direction a lot of options in this guy uh, let's go to the hotkeys just to kind of see the installation method of this you can either do a direct download directly from the releases page on github or just doing winget i haven't added this yet on my toolbox i'll see how you guys respond to this if you guys really like it i might add it to the toolbox but since it's more of a niche project I kind of was like, I'll leave it, but it is free and it is really cool. Down here is kind of the official hotkey maps directly from Great Glaze WM. This is pretty bare bones when it comes to window management. Again, it's just there to manage some windows that open up. Focusing the work groups is just holding Alt, pressing one, two, three, four, or you can change the layout to vertical or press it again to toggle back. You can toggle maximized and minimized, change your focus uh, if you don't want to use the mouse, or you could just click and use the mouse. doesn't matter either way. Shrink height, width, all that stuff. All with a couple presses of a button. Very, very easy, very nice. Uh, and then to reload or move, really use Alt-Shift-1-2-3. So what that looks like to move this here and then you launch your browser and you're like oh you know what i want this on workspace 3 because that's where i like to put my browsers so you just go alt shift and then three and then not only does it move that window to the third workspace but then it also switches you to that workspace so very easy to do key press wise and then an alt q is a, a binding i did you could do alt shift q to go ahead and keep the default bindings but i wanted to make it a little shorter to just kill those windows so how's this all configured is probably going to be your next question and if we look in glaze we have the config.yaml i've went ahead and uploaded this to my github as well so if you want to copy something you see in this video you can do that but very easy to config with uh the config.yaml couple options here at the top nothing really to change this is where uh uh, by default, the gaps are 20 pixels. So I think the creator of this project has like a 4K monitor because the, the wasted space by the default configuration on gaps is 20. Dude, it's crazy on a 1080p monitor. The gaps are just massive. So I switched these to two pixels from 20 pixels. I highly recommend doing that if you're on a low, maybe if you're on 4K, it looks okay, but I, I drove me crazy. I had to remove that. Um, as far as other modifications I made, I kind of left everything the same. So I didn't really want to change too much from Glaze. Uh, the big things here was I made some custom key bindings right here. This is just the command that gets executed. So if I do Alt plus B, it launches the Thorium browser. And I was like, oh, cool. Uh, I wanted Alt X to launch Windows Terminal. That's WT. Uh, Windows E is just explore which is nice and then i have a cursor so like let's say i want to launch into that alt w will launch cursor which is basically vs code with you know gpt built in so that is my gist of my configuration of glaze wm i really like it uh, another thing also like resizing things is kind of an interesting one Let's launch this. Let's say you want to kind of change the width and say, ah, you know what? This one needs to be just a little bit uh, skinnier. So we can make it smaller or we can, we can make it bigger this way. Or let's say you have it split the other way. O and I would go ahead and split the height, add more to the height to reduce it if they were stacked on top of each other. So U and P is what you would use for width and then U and I for that. I don't necessarily like those. I probably will end up switching them uh, to more of a Vim binding. So for height, I'd probably put these as like J and K and then for width, H and L probably uh, to be more Vim-esque. But I thought it was kind of neat anyways. I thought I'd show it. And then like to to toggle like the, the floating tiling, 
So let's say you have this and you want to bring that over. You see how it just tiles everything? Well, what you can do, Alt Shift Space, and then we got this entire thing. Now let's say you got a tiled one and you're like, you know what? Resize this a little bit. You have this, you'd kind of finish. You're like, you know what? I need to go ahead and make that tiling again. Just go ahead and do Alt Shift Space again. Just drops it right into to there. So let's say you want to move this window to be right here. What you can do, Alt Shift H and switch it or Alt Shift L to push it to the right. Uh, so those are Vim bindings. Uh, that do function the way I am I imagine and this is pretty much it that's the entire config very very basic uh, if you've ever dealt with tiling window managers in Linux uh, this is obviously going to be a breeze for you you're just going to open up this config edit what you want and then have a uh, functional window management all in here I have to say I really enjoy it I think I'm going to keep this on my system for a while. It's been a, a very nice experience. And as I'm flying around my system, managing, programming, doing different things in Windows, I really like having this because I can't have what I have in Linux over on the Windows side of things. And Glaze WM kind of just gives me what I want. So thank you, the creator of Glaze WM. I kind of showed all these. If you want to, again, all this is on my website. If you want to see my raw file, you want to see my custom bindings to just kind of customize a little bit more to your liking. And if I missed anything, let me know down in the comments. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.